What is up, YouTube? Avery here, and we finally have a somewhat working recording setup. So other than my son being really the only kind of good light I'm going to be able to get, because if I use the light in my room, it's just going to be too bright, it's not going to work. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this video, shall we? Be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about the ban list. So if I pull it up here, just to kind of look at it as I talk to you guys, and that's the organized play. That is definitely not what we want. I started thinking about the balance, and I want to make a discussion video about it. Because of the fact that if we look at our last ban list, nothing happened. And a lot of people are hoping that on this ban list, something is going to happen. Uh, whether it's Block Dragon getting banned, Adam Emancipator being hit, Elvis being hit, you name it. I mean, there's so many things in this format that are just absolutely busted and destroyed, like Link Cross, Needle Fiber, you name it, Hockey Fiber Axe, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but I feel that for this ban list, I feel that nothing is really going to happen again. Now, why do I say this? Well, because of the obvious fact that you look at what happened on the last ban list, they brought three cards. Three. You see that? Three. They brought three cards back up to unlimited steps. Ho ho. Gave more people, or gave people more cards to play with. That's always nice. It brought Alter Guys to full power, Necroz to full power, and then whatever the hell the third card was. It, I think it's irrelevant. I, my dumbass has it pulled up. I might as well say what it was. Ulti Canna Hawk. And I have yet to play against Ritual Beast since that card came back. So I started thinking about with all this COVID crap, as I like to call it, going on. What if Konami took the time during this pandemic to bring back cards that have been on the ban list for however God knows how long? What if they started bringing those cards back to give us players more cards to play with, right? So what if we saw things come back? And I'm not saying that you have to bring back like FTK cards. Like you don't have to bring back Substitute to three. I mean, that would just cause FTKs out the ass. If you don't open up a hand trap, you pretty much would lose. But if they were to do something like give Substitute an errata where it's only once per turn, they could bring that back up to three. Frogs now have another support card. Maybe Paleo's Oaks would be played more. What if, and this is kind of a stretch, what if they took the time during this pandemic to bring cards like Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity back to one each? There's no events. And the locals that are participating in remote duels, which I've already given my speech on that, I think it's a pile of crap. I think it's absolutely stupid. But regardless, even if your locals is doing remote duels, and even if they're not, I know, uh, I'm not going to name the locals, but I know that there's a local card shop in my part of town in Florida where the players put on the tournament per se, and you like play for a box. But like the card shop owner is like, I don't know nothing about it. You guys are doing your own thing. This isn't Konami sanctioned. You do what you want. Basically giving them a place to play. But there's sort of like, I guess, under the table stuff going on with that because the players are able to host the term there. Anyway, I'm not going to say where it is. I just think that that's very interesting. And I'm sure a shit ton of other places are doing that as well. So if there's only locals going on, which let's be honest, Konami's not going to base a ban list off of local tournament results, you know, I mean, unless they have like some sort of OTS tournament, which again, you know, I don't think that they're going to do that over remote duel. I think that's just going to be too much craziness going on there. Or maybe they will. But again, I still don't think that they're going to base their balance just off of locals results. So you go into locals and you're playing Graceful Charity and you're playing Pot of Greed. And then you're telling everybody what Pot of Greed does because no one knows what the hell Pot of Greed does. <laughs> so what if we saw that? And hopefully, yes, hopefully they do something like ban Block Dragon. You know, hopefully they do something like that to at least kind of even out the game a little bit. My problem is, though, is that I just don't feel like that's going to happen because of this pandemic and because players are still buying cards for whatever ungodly reason. If you really want to spend money on Elder Lift the Golden Lord, go for it. I have not spent shit other than buying packs, and then I'm saving onto my shit until events open back up, and I'm going to sell my shit and make a shit ton of money. Because <laughs> you know, once events start back up, shit's going to go through the roof. But back to the main point. Cards like Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity that we've seen banned for years, this could be the chance for those cards to come off the balance, even just to one. You don't have to bring all the cards that have been banned back to one or two or three, because there are a lot of cards that would just be absolutely overpowered and could cause FTKs in the game. Like I just said, uh, Substitute. You wouldn't want to bring back like all the Dragon Rulers to three. You wouldn't want to bring back Spellbook of Judgment to three, because... 
it would just cause a lot of issues and a lot of problems. And you have to keep in mind, too, that Konami wants to sell their latest stuff. So, you know, they have to kind of do a little bit of a balancing act and decide, okay, what is it that we're going to bring back? Obviously, they're not going to do something like bring back last turn because there's so many rulings with that card. It would be such a cluster headache even for locals to deal with that. So I don't think that they would bring something like last turn back. But looking at other cards on the ban list here, I mean, like, Wall of Revealing Light has a need to come back to three for years because no one's playing that card. What if you gave more support to rogue decks? Like, bring back Macrocosmos to three. Bring back Skill Drain to three. Bring back Dimensional Fisher to three. Hell, put Sky Striker back at full power if you really want to do that. Put Multi Roll and Hornet Drones and Widow Anchor all at three. Bring Pantheism to three. Uh, put one, I would love to see one day Peace back at three, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, bring back Gold Sarcophagus to three, Foolish Burial to three, Final Countdown to three. I mean, there's a lot of cards that they could bring off the ban list here during this time of a pandemic that could give players more incentive to want to play. You see what I mean? Like, if you're just, like, even if you get pissed off with what Konami brings off the balance, nothing says you have to play because you technically can't even really play right now. So why not give the players that are going to continue to play, no matter what the balance is, give us more of an option of more cards to play. Like, bring Cyberjar back to one. Again, during just this pandemic time, I'm not talking permanently. Once all these cards, once you realize they're kind of overpowered, like, especially for locals and things like that, or even once events start back up, just reban the cards, you know, that way everything is still sort of balanced, if that makes sense. Um, you could bring back Cyberjar to one, bring back Dandelion to one. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm just naming off random stuff at this point. Fiberjar to one. Uh, Luna, uh, no, actually don't bring back Luna Light Tiger. <laughs> don't bring back Magical Scientist. Don't bring back Magic Spectre Unicorn Kieran. Uh, Macior the Destructor had a, um, had, what do you call it, an errata, that can come back to three. People want Max C to come back so badly. Could you imagine if on this September balance, Konami said, hey, look, we're bringing Max C from band to three during this COVID time. Once events open back up, then they can say, okay, Fiber Jar's banned, Cyber Jar's banned, uh, we'll reban Max C, you know, all these things. But players love Max C. So why not give those players that want Maxi, give them back Maxi. Personally, I hate Maxi. I hate that card because it always hits me and I always have the worst luck with it. But I digress. Bring stuff like that back. Give us kind of more of an incentive to continue playing and experiment with other things. Now is really the moral of this is that I feel that a lot of cards that have been banned for years is our chance to bring those cards back and play with them again. I just brought up Pot of Green Graceful Charity as an example because they've been banned for years. Now, of course, there are some cards that are very overpowered that you can't bring back, such as uh, Butterfly Dagger Elma because it causes FTKs, Confiscation, Delinquent Duo, um, cards like that just, they can't come back, unfortunately. The same goes for Mass Driver. It just, it incentivizes those FTKs. Um, Harpy's Feather Duster and Heavy Storm, I feel a lot of people have been talking about that those cards can come back. Um, Snatch Steel, we saw come back for a time and then got rebanned. You know, why not have a lot of these things come back? Bring Snatch Steel to one, bring Engage to three, put Premature Burial at one, Pot of Greed, Painful Choice, Mirage of Nightmare, That Grass Looks Greener, That Ass Looks Thicker, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would love to see Self Destruct Button come back, but only because I've been a Self Destruct Button veteran for years, but even then my deck's been killed at this point. Um, time Seal, Vanity's Emptiness, like, there's a lot of things that they could do with this. So anyway, this is just something that was sort of going around in my head. Because again, I don't feel like Konami is going to put any new cards on the ban list or even the limits or semi-limits. I think if anything, they're going to bring cards back to three or they're going to bring things that are banned and bring them back to one, two, or three. Um, and then the same goes for limited and semi-limited. They might get moved to two or three, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you like to see something like this? Because again... Let's be honest here, cards like Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed are never going to be on ban unless Konami does put some sort of huge fat-ass errata on it to where it's just practically unplayable, uh, or they bring out a new game mechanic that makes the cards just very much weaker. You know, I think now is the time where Konami should say, look, these cards have been banned for years. Let's give the players that maybe never got the chance to play with them in a competitive setting, let's give them that chance. Could you imagine if every deck in the format right now had one copy of Pot of Greed? 
it would be bananas probably, but again, we're in a pandemic. Who gives a shit? Just open the floodgates. The format's already overpowered as it is. You might as well give us back Norton and Instant Fusion to three. I mean, let's be honest at this point. Same goes for Brilliant Fusion. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear what the community has to say about this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.